What's going on, Cleveland Cavaliers fans? Welcome back to the channel. Cleveland Sports Takes, your number one stop shop for hottest takes in all of Cleveland sports. we got a lot of things coming here on the channel, but we need to talk about Marcus Morris joining the Cleveland Cavaliers, making a first good impression. Now, here's the thing. The 14-year vet, Marcus Morris, he's not coming to Cleveland to average 20 a game. He's not coming to Cleveland to be a starter. He's not coming to Cleveland to resurrect this team. But there are a few reasons why I love this signing. There are a few reasons why I love Marcus Morris in the wine and gold. Shout out to the Cavaliers. Got the hat on here for you guys, too. And, uh, of course, J.B. Bickerstaff has worked with Marcus Morris in the past when Marcus Morris was a rookie uh, dating back to his time at, uh, uh, when was it? Uh, was he in Detroit as a rookie? Um, I'm trying to think where he was. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, I've got it in my notes here. But uh, Morris definitely, definitely, definitely comes over and brings a much-needed dog mentality. That's what I call it, right? He's got that dog in him, and I think... This Cavs team needs that. We don't necessarily have a dog. Now, listen, I love Jared Allen. I, I love what he brings to the table. I love Evan Mobley. Mobley's just young. Allen's not necessarily a dog. At least he doesn't give you that feeling. He's very skilled, uh, very solid, big man. But Marcus Morris adds that little bit of tenacity, that little bit of you, that, that grit and grind that you need in a playoff run. And I think no matter what, no matter how many minutes Marcus Morris plays, what he could bring to this locker room could be huge. Now, I mentioned uh, Bickerstaff has worked with Morris. He worked with him as a rookie uh, after Morris was selected 14th overall in the 2011 draft uh, by the Houston Rockets. That's who it was, Houston Rockets, uh, where Bickerstaff was an assistant at the time. Uh, obviously, uh, Morris saw some early minutes entering the game in the first quarter with over six minutes left in the period just this past game off a pass from Karis LeVert. Uh, who had 11 assists in the game, along with 23 points, 8 rebounds. Morris drained his first shot, 25-footer, cutting the Pacers' lead down to single digits. And you could feel the confidence get into the 34-year-old who went 5-7 of seven from the field, 4-5 of five from the three-point line. This guy still has a lot of game left, guys. And he may just contribute a little bit more on the floor than we expect him to. But again, I want to fall back on no matter how many minutes this guy plays for us, and I hope they keep him long-term throughout the playoffs, which I think they will. Um, he's going to bring a lot to the table. Uh, Morris said, if you know me, it, was really that, uh, it wasn't really that tough to get him back into a rhythm. The thing was, my teammates did a great job of getting to the paint, breaking down the defense. I just had to make open shots. So when you're at home, you're not doing nothing. The one thing you're doing is shooting spot shots. While his offensive production was crucial, Morris's impact on the defensive end also was huge. To slow down a fast-paced Pacers team, Cavs found a way to hold the Pacers, who lead the NBA in points per game at 123, just to 103 points. Indiana was also held uh, to an offensive rating below 110. And, you know, his teammate, uh, Niang, just said, hey, the guy's a pro. He's a vet. And this is what we need in the wine and gold. We needed a vet or two, honestly, I think, on this current team. The reason I think we lost in this last, you know, uh, uh, playoff series last year to 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 the uh, to the New York Knicks. A couple reasons. Number one, they just out battled us, and they were tougher than us. I think we add that with Marcus Morris. The other thing is we needed more of a veteran presence. I think we add that again with Marcus Morris. So he checks a lot of boxes for the wine and gold. If he could start shooting like the way he did this previous game, look out because now he brings just a bigger impact and bigger dynamic to this team. Uh, right now. So that's my quick hot take on Marcus Morris. What we, uh, Marcus Morris, what we'll be watching for here throughout the rest of this tenure that he has in Cleveland. I think it could be big come around playoff time. Appreciate you guys. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. This channel is just getting started. The hottest takes in Cleveland sports. I want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. What do you think Marcus Morris brings to this wine and gold Cavs team? Look forward to hearing from you down below. We'll see you.